one part starch, two parts glue, come together, make some goo. Hello and welcome to June's installment of This is Science, where we do a science experiment or demonstration that you can do at home with your kids. This month, we're at the Children's Museum and we're gonna make goo and explore the properties of matter. We're here with Laura Wurzberger, who's the Director of Family uh, Programs mm -hmm. at the Children's Museum, <laughs> and Chelsea Bur Burdine, who has the great mm -hmm. title of, what is your title, Chelsea? Play and Learning Facilitator. Play and Learning Facilitator. I mean, what, what better title can you have than that? So, what are we gonna do here? So we are gonna start off by talking about the states of matter, because before we can talk about what goo is, mm -hmm. we kinda need to understand the states of matter that we can find. Okay. So the first state of matter that you can talk to kids about is water. Water, okay. Water, and water is a liquid. And you can see that when I'm pouring the water, it is flowing evenly. So that's how we know that this is a liquid, because it's flowing evenly. We okay. also have some things that would represent a solid. So I can bounce this ball. Mm -hmm. It doesn't flow like the water. Mm -hmm. I can take this stick. I can break it into two. Yeah, right. So a solid. Okay. And then we have air. This is probably the trickiest one to teach kids about. So I like to have a condiment bottle like this mm -hmm. and ask kids what's inside. No, what's inside no, here? Uh, nothing is inside. Nothing I've is seen inside. I see nothing in there. Okay. And I'm going to put on the top. And if you could hold out your hands. What do you air feel? is inside. Yeah, air is something. Air is inside yeah. and air is something. So okay. we have liquids, solids, and gases. Okay. Okay. But, gas, so, but kids can also identify gas like when their mother is boiling something on the stove. Yes, and definitely. There's lots of opportunities to identify uh, liquids, solids, and gases in the kitchen with okay. your children. Okay, great. So, so we have some things here. So we have... Oh, this is cool. Slime. Okay. We have... Our goo. We have our goo. Okay. Now. I'm so excited. Carrie, what do you, now thinking about our liquids, our solids, and our gases, what do you think goo is? It's sticky. It's sticky? Um, I don't know. I think it's, it's a very solid thing because I could hold it in my hand, whereas I can't hold water in my hand, for instance. Oh. Now what um, if we took the goo. But it definitely drips. And we. Right. Just it. like water does. Just like water. But this doesn't flow as evenly as our water does. So this goo stuff, we say mm. here at the museum it that it's not a liquid, not a liquid and it's not a solid, okay. so it's snot. It's snot. It's snot. Excellent. But really, the real scientific word here is a non-Newtonian fluid. Okay. And there's lots of non-Newtonian fluids that you can find in your kitchen as well. And I have some examples here. Ketchup. Okay. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Toothpaste, okay. yeah. Both non-Newtonian fluids, non -Newtonian custard, fluid. paint, all the things that don't flow evenly. So one thing that you can do when you're doing this activity at home is really look for non-Newtonian fluids and solids, liquids and solids at home with your kids. Okay. Okay. okay so my good. friend Chelsea here is going to make some goo with you, Carrie. What do we have here? All right. Well, here's the fun part. We have our elbows glue all which you can find at your local Target or Walmart. Mm -hmm. We also have our Stay Flow starch that you can as well find in your local Walmarts or Targets. Okay. And I'm told that we, it, it can't just be any Elmer's glue. Not just it has Elmer's to be glue all. Glue. It has to be glue all okay. for the goo to come out all gooey as you want it. Okay. And it has to be liquid starch. Liquid starch. Okay. There you we go. We also have There's the brand. coloring. Mm -hmm. Any colors you prefer, it's up to you. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started with making our glue. Excellent. Okay. All right. You want to go ahead? Here we got. We have a, a glue. Oh. We have our so we have two glue. two parts glue to one part starch is exactly. what I'm seeing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And does it have to be, you can make it as big as you want as long as it's yeah. proportional. Okay. This, so is, this recipe the makes, glue all. with these containers, makes about a pound, mm -hmm. which okay. is what I have in my hand. And these are what, um, quarter cups containers? Yes. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pour in one more. A little more glue. Excellent. And we're gonna go ahead and let you choose our color. Um, I like blue, it's my favorite blue? color. All yep. Right. So you put the glue in before you put the starch in. Right. I mean the color the in before color you before yes. the starch. Okay. Color before the starch, okay. All, right. here you go. All the whole thing? Not the whole thing, maybe three or four drops. Three or four drops, okay, good. That helps. Okay, here comes the fun part. 
Do I get to get my hands messy? Or no, this. I oh, use well, this spatula. Spatula. We're going to go ahead and make our color. Okay. So you want to go ahead and give okay, that a good hold that. Okay. Room. Cool, look at this. Check this out. Mixing together in all cool colors. And you can uh, add like the, the uh, food coloring after, but it, it's easier to mix in when you add it to the glue first. And once you feel that mm -hmm. it's getting pretty gooey, we're going to oh, okay. go ahead and add our starch. Okay. So it's going to thicken on me as I right. do this. Okay. Do, 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 do. It's getting there. It is getting there. You want to make sure that you, the spatula that you're using is a non-porous. So you can see we have a plastic, so a plastic or metal, not mm -hmm. a wood one. Okay. Just because it'll get all nasty. You won't want to cook with it again. your spatula. Yes. Right. Okay. That makes total sense. It's pretty We're thick. We're ready to add our starch. And we add a quarter of a cup of starch. Beautiful. Excellent. And then hey we guys. keep stirring. Do, 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 do. And it doesn't seem to want to actually bind with the glue as easily. We do have a fun chant for you guys to do at home. Okay. As you stir up your goo, it goes a little something like mm. one, one part, part starch, starch, two, two parts part glue, glue, come, come together, together, make, make some, some goo. goo. Here's the fun part. Let's go ahead and do believe three times. Ready? Believe, believe, believe. Stir it up that goo. Stir I am up stirring up the goo. goo. It's just stringy. I think we should try to put it on our, our table. Okay. And we're going to try to start kneading it together. Okay, so it looks stringy and really watery. I don't think it's done. Laura says it's done, and let's try it. We've got this plastic thing here, which probably is advisable if you yeah. have. Yeah, same thing with the spatula. We want to make sure uh, you're using the a non counter does yeah non porous surface and then now, you're going to kind of get in there i'm going to get and in you're going to going to really knead it up this is why we're wearing lab okay. coats do, 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 do. ew ew <laughs> but your um your kids are going to love this oh my god it's just squishy and this is a good um, activity to do outside in the summer mm -hmm. still stringy am i crazy am i a failure you really got to put that knead in there. Okay, I got to put the knead in there. <laughs> got to put the knead in there. Okay. Do, 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 do. But if I keep doing this for the next 20 minutes, it'll actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, it's going to take about five minutes to come together. Okay. Okay, so kneading is important Kneading is very important. Um, which I did not do well at, at first. So I'm trying, kind of figuring that out. Okay, well, I think we have it. So All right, got do my we want to try yes. doing our bellow? This is... Ooh, yes. So we just put this over here? Yep. You're going to kind of cap it off and make a nice tight ball. If you want to hold it, I can, you Chelsea know, I, hold I your pump. You okay. So now the bellows pumps air. Yes. Um, okay. So, so just, like the, just like the bottle. To the bottle, yes. Okay. So we're pumping air into this. And I don't know if any of you have, have ever blown a bubble with gum before, but that's exactly what we're doing. This is very gum-like. Still don't put it in your mouth, but it's very gum-like. <laughs> and uh, look at this. Isn't this cool? You could do the same thing if you didn't want to buy a bellow. You could do the same thing with a drinking straw. Oh. At home. Okay. And just blow? And just blow. Okay. That yep. Would... It's all about capping the end, making a ball of the goo at the end of the drinking straw and blowing. And you can see we're about to possibly... And gravity is taking oh. over. Oh! Funnels. Yeah. Now, I like this funnel. It is my, it's my favorite because really it's just a bottle top that they cut off the bottom to. Um, so you can make your own funnels. Yeah, you don't need to go out and buy funnels. You don't need to buy funnels and you don't necessarily need to make your kitchen funnels um, goo funnels. That's, so that's always a good thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and what are we going to do? We're going to stuff it in here? Stuff it in there. Yeah. And then Chelsea has in her pocket a steel ball, a steel which ball. we got these at American Science and Surplus that you can drop in there. Ball is sinking. You mm -hmm. can sort of see that. Um, and then, and what do you think is going to happen? Well, it's going to come through here eventually. You can use the tools, but I think the best tool is our hands to really mm -hmm. explore mm -hmm. all that the goo can be. Okay, getting back to my hands. Well, that's kind of cool. It keeps the shape. Uh -huh. um, do you think it'll keep it long? No, <laughs> no, because it's already fallen. I mean, I put my hands on it, but <laughs> gravity is going to, to take that shape out. But, um, but there's a ball in here somewhere. 
And, the, and it just comes right off the ball. So that's really cool too. Okay. Yeah, so once, the best way to kind of pick it up mm -hmm. is just kind of, boop. It'll just pick it up itself. So here I can clean, can mix my colors ah, together. Okay. Okay, great. So you can come to the Chicago Children's Museum anytime to uh, take classes in making goo. Uh, you can come during the month of June where they're going to have science experiments all over their place as, uh, as part of their Mad Science June. Uh, we will have things on the website. We will have the recipe for making goo and a uh, little advice for how to be patient. And we will also probably have a scavenger hunt about all the non-Newtonian fluids, which is now my favorite phrase, uh, to find in your house so you, get, you and your kids can find all these things that you didn't even think of as liquid or fluid. And don't forget to uh, videotape your, yourself and your kids making this stuff at home and uh, send it to us and we'll put it up on chicagoparent.com. I'm Carrie Kaufman and uh, keep doing science.